A World War II Nazi flag has gone under the hammer on the Gold Coast, a move the Premier is strongly condemning. But the auction house is defending this sale, arguing it's simply a piece of history. In April 1945, Canadian troops liberated the city of Groningen in the Netherlands. This flag flew over the Luftwaffe compound. Almost 76 years on, it's gone under the hammer in an online auction on the Gold Coast. 1700 and we're selling going once, 1700 going twice, 1700. Congratulations, that's fine bidding. The 2.8 metre flag is made up of a large swastika, symbol of the Nazi party, and still widely regarded as a symbol of hate. The Anti-Defamation Commission has labelled its sale as a disgrace, claiming no one should profit from such an item. This auction is a spit on the grave of every dealer who gave their lives to the fifth Hitler's regime. And it's a kick in the stomach to the Holocaust survivors living here. The flag, listed online as a very rare antiquity and piece of history, described as being in good condition. The seller, a wartime antiquities collector from Queensland, has had the flag in his possession for 40 years. Well, he's 85 now and downsizing and he's refining his collection. Since its listing on Monday, the auction house has been inundated with dozens of angry emails calling for the flag to be destroyed. The Queensland Premier also weighing in on the sale. It's outrageous, it's disrespectful and it shouldn't have happened. But Managing Director Dustin Sweeney has hit back. It's not an illegal item, it's legal and while it's legal uh, we can sell it. History teaches us how to go forward as a society so you must remember what happened, not glorify it. This is an antiquity from that time. The Anti-Defamation Commission is calling for a change in legislation. I also call on the state and federal government to do the right thing and to ban the sale of Nazi memorabilia. Catherine Foran, Nine News.